In this video, you're going to learn how you can prefill your DocuSign documents before you send them to your recipients. We're going to cover how to do it manually and also how to do it automatically if you're looking for maximum efficiency. So let's get into it. First, let's start by defining what prefilling means. So it means that, for example, if you have this document here that you want to send to someone, you want to prefill it with information that relates to the person who's going to receive the document so that instead of having to fill out the document from scratch, your recipients are already receiving a document that has information about them. And you may or may not want to let them update that information. Now, there's two types of documents that you might want to prefill. You have static documents that look like forms. But if we look at this dynamic document, which is an offer letter example, then here we have a variable information that we want to prefill. And you want the static text that's not highlighted in yellow to wrap around very nicely the information you're going to prefill. Now, the way that you're going to prefill either this sort of template or this sort of template really is different. And I'm going to show you how to do both in this video. Starting with the static document, I see a lot of DocuSign users making the same mistake because they don't know how to prefill the document at the time of sending the document. What they do is that they add themselves as the first recipient so essentially, they're sending the document to themselves and then they fill out the document. So company name, number, blah, 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 blah. And so then they click on finish after they fill out all of the uh, required fields. And then this is when the actual document um, gets sent to the next signer. And so that's not what we want to do because you're wasting time sending the document to yourself waiting for the DocuSign envelope to show up in your in your emails, then opening it, filling out the fields. Instead of adding your yourself as the first signer, you want to pre-fill the document's field at the time of sending the envelope. So either when you're using a template or not, it doesn't matter, but you want to learn how to do that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this manually and also automatically. And if we haven't met before, my name is Sofian Saudi. I used to be a DocuSign consultant working for DocuSign themselves back in 2019. And since 2020, I've founded Solution Consulting, an agency that helps organizations using DocuSign or organizations that want to use DocuSign implement DocuSign and integrate it so they can save time and money. If your organization deals with lots of paperwork, there's a huge opportunity for you to save time and money by, for example, automatically prefilling your contract with the CRM data that you might have, track automatically the status of your signatures in a CRM or in your spreadsheets or wherever you want to track, but so that you don't have to rely on the DocuSign email notifications. When documents are signed, documents can also automatically get stored in a folder of your choice even get renamed the way that you like using variables in the naming convention. And if you're collecting information in form fields, like in this document, for example, you can also get all of that data back inside of the apps that you use every day. So whether it's a CRM or a spreadsheet, and you can absolutely achieve all of this by doing it yourself with trial and error. Or if you don't have the time or willingness, you can schedule a consultation with one of our DocuSign automation consultants using the link just down below. During the call, we will map out your process and provide you with the best implementation roadmap for your company's unique workflow. But if you're more of a DIY person, that's also absolutely fine. But in this case, I really recommend you download our DocuSign Automation Mastery Cheat Sheet. Using the other link down below, it will help you get started with DocuSign and help you automate your workflow on the right foot. But for now, let's go back to how to prefill our documents. So I already showed you what not to do, which is adding yourself as the first recipient. Option number one is to use the fields assigned to your recipients and fill them out. So in this example here, if we look in the template, we are assigning those fields to the client. And then we can decide whether or not the client can update the data entered in those fields. If we don't want them to update something, then in this case, we're going to make the fields read only, which means that when the recipient will get the envelope, they will not be able to update this information. Let me show you how it works. So if I save and close this template and then I'm going to use it, 
then instead of using it and sending it right away, I'm going to click on advanced edit here, to enter some recipient name and emails. And here I can just double click and then enter information. So Acme company and in country, we can say United States of America. And so as you can see here, my envelope is pre-filled. I send it to the signer. When I open the envelope as a signer, I can already see all of the information that's here. And because I selected that those fields should be read only, then I cannot change them. But this field here, I've purposely left it non-read only. So that means that even though it was pre-filled with USA, I can still go ahead and change the country. And so it's not because you're pre-filling information that your signers are not able to change it. And so that's the first way of doing it. Now, if you think that these fields look a little bit funny, this is just that the DocuSign fields are opaque. So they hide the borders of the table, but this is going to be fixed once the documents get signed. So that's the first way that you can pre-fill your documents manually using recipient fields. And so you're saving yourself time because you don't have to send the envelope to yourself first to get the information in there. Now, the downside of using this method is that you or whoever is going to send the document might miss a field because those fields are required, yes, as you can see, but they're not required for the sender, which means that technically one of your team members could completely forget to fill out one of the fields. And so that's the downside of using recipient fields. The alternative method, instead of using recipient fields, is to use pre-fill fields. And so, for example, if I replace this field that's currently assigned to the recipient for the company name, and if I delete it, and if I add a pre-fill text box, and I make this text box mandatory, then in this case, the sender of the document will have to fill in all of this information. And we can add some validation to make sure that the right information, that the information gets entered in the right format. We have text boxes, we have check boxes, we have radio buttons, name companies, all of that. And so if we replace all of these fields, save our template and try to click send, I can't send it because DocuSign tells me, hey, all of these fields need to be filled out. And so that's the upside of using pre-fill tools. And see, and here it's the same process. So Acme, Inc, postal code. Now, the downside of using this method is that your recipients will not be able to update this information because those fields are not assigned to them. And the other problem is that once you've sent these documents to your signers, once your signers get them, if they realize there is a problem with the document, you're not able to correct the envelopes. And correcting the envelopes means that you're able to, even after you've sent it, to update the information that's in the envelope, whether it's the document or the recipients, you can watch my video on how to correct envelopes. And so that's the downside. If you're using recipient fields, then your senders might forget to enter information in one of the fields, but you can correct the envelopes and your signers can also update the information entered if you did not make the field read only. However, your senders might miss some. And if you use the pre-field tools, then your senders will not be able to forget to enter information in the field. However, your recipients will not be able to update that information and you will not be able to correct the envelope once it's been sent. I hope all of this makes sense. So that's if we want to pre-fill a document that looks like a form, right? However, if our document looks like this, it's an offer letter, then we want to pre-fill the document in a different way. And so for this, you will need to get access to DocuSign document generation so that you don't need to create the document in Microsoft Word or Google Docs and then upload it to DocuSign. So if I show you this offer letter here, as you can see, it's exactly the same that I was showing you in the screenshot. So here, if we want to pre-fill all of this information, if we locate our template, then I click on use. DocuSign is going to force you to um, enter information in all the fields. And so those, this is all the field data. And so if I fill this out, you can still see that it's quite time consuming having to pre-fill all of the information, right? And so that's why you really want to automate it. And I'm gonna show you how to automate it in the next, in the next portion of the video. So once I pre-fill of my information and I click on review, okay, it's missing my middle name. And again, you can make some of the fields required, some um, non-required. 
for in this specific demo I've made them all required. If we click on review, then the document is being generated and then we can send it to the signer. And you can see that all the placeholders have been replaced with information I have just typed in in the form just before. And if I click send, then the recipient is going to receive that uh, document. And if you don't have access to DocuSign document generation, it's because you're not on the right plan. You need to contact your DocuSign account executive so they give you access to this feature. Now, if you don't have access to the feature and you're trying to create a document that is that has a dynamic layout, so like this, with the wrong DocuSign subscription, then you're gonna have to use DocuSign recipient fields to fill in the variable information, but then your document is gonna look like this because you're gonna to have to leave a lot of white space or, and sometimes you're gonna, not gonna have in, enough space. You can see here, the hourly rate is overlapping on top of the hour. And this is because we're not using DocuSign document generation templates, we're just using a static template and then dragging and dropping um, sort of recipient fields here where the variable information is supposed to go. However, when you do this, the problem is that the static text doesn't wrap around the variable information. So that's why you really wanna get DocuSign document generation to create your beautiful document. And I've created a video on how to create document generation and mailmerge documents. You can watch it uh, if you want to learn how to configure this type of template. But this is how you would prefill it manually. Now, let me show you how you can do this completely automatically. Instead of me having to enter all of this information manually in my DocuSign envelope, I want to prefill my offer letter using information that I have stored maybe in a SharePoint list like this one. So for example, here we have the information about our candidate. Let's just say that we want to send this offer letter to Sarah Brown. We have all of the information here in the list and we want to create the envelope automatically. And so the way that we can do this is by using an integration platform. In this specific example, because it's all Microsoft related, We've built the flows inside of Microsoft Power Automate, but you can also use Zapier.com and you can also use Make.com, which is the one that I actually like the most because it's really, really visual. You can see the different paths and different options and um, conditions. So I really like this one a little bit better. But in this case, we've built uh, the demo that I'm going to show you was built using Microsoft Power Automate. So how does it work? We have our data source, which can be anything. And in this case, it's the share, SharePoint list. Then we have our DocuSign template, which is stored inside of DocuSign. And we want to add the information in the form fields in, in our DocuSign template using the information stored in this SharePoint list. And to make the connection between this SharePoint list and our DocuSign template, we are using, in this example, Microsoft Power Automate, but as I said, you can use other, um, other, other tools to integrate. But how does it work in practice? So once you've set up all of the integrations and you actually need just one integration to pre-fill a document, then what we want to do is we simply want to trigger the sending, the send of that envelope. And so the way that we would do this, we'll just go here. We have a trigger field, which says create draft DocuSign. We'll click on create. And then we'll just wait. I'm just going to refresh. And as you can see now, we have Sarah Brown's envelope status saying that the draft was created because we typically don't want, when you're automating this, you want to review that the document is merging correctly. So if I click on this URL here that was generated automatically, then I can enter my DocuSign envelope for Sarah and make sure that the actual document looks correct. So if I click on continue, then I can see that all my form fields will be, have been pre-populated and that's using the SharePoint data. And once I click on review, then I can double check that the document actually looks formatted correctly. And then I can just click on send. And so when you create an, uh, an automation to pre-fill your DocuSign envelopes, then you might as well just create more automation, right? And so in our case, we've created three automations, one that creates the envelope, once another one that tracks the status. I want to be able to track who has signed, who hasn't signed. And so this is why we have this envelope status column here inside of our SharePoint list. And again, you can build that column in any app that you use every day, whether it's a CRM or on Excel or Google Sheets. 
And if I refresh at some point from draft created, it will say sent. And this is actually the case here. It says sent. And so the envelope has been sent. And so the envelope was sent to this candidate's email address. Here's the DocuSign email notification for Sarah. We're going to open it, agree. And as you can see, all the information is already pre-filled. And what did it take me? Two clicks, one, one click to generate, and then another one just to make sure that everything looked okay. You don't actually need to create them in draft. You can send them right away, but I, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Then I'm gonna sign as Sarah. And it's asking me what's my mobile number. So I'm just going to give the mobile number and you don't have to have this, but I just wanna show you the power of using integrations. And then click on finish. There is a second signer in this envelope. So HR is now getting the envelope. So I'm gonna click on continue. I can see Sarah's signature, Sarah's phone number and click on sign. And now this is when the third flow should trigger. Now that I've clicked on finish, DocuSign will let, will send a notification to our integration platform and we'll say, hey, this envelope has been signed. Let's update the SharePoint list and let's upload the signed documents and let's retrieve the phone number for Sarah. So if we look at this information here, phone number is empty, right? I have not refreshed yet. But what should happen is that if I refresh, I should see the signed document here and I should see Sarah's phone number here as well. So let's do a refresh. And now it does say that the envelope has been completed. We can scroll and we can see here the phone number for Sarah. And we also have access to the signed document, which was uploaded inside of our SharePoint list. And so as you can see, the SharePoint document was renamed with the candidate's name, hyphen, offer letter and signed. And so this is really powerful because you never have to rename your documents. And this link here was added automatically to our SharePoint list. So that it's super simple for whoever is managing all of these uh, volume of document to access because they have access to the signed document URL just right here. Now, I know this is beyond the scope of how you want to prefer documents, but this is really where you want to get to. If you are spending a ton of time on documents, you want to automate the full life cycle of the documents, how you create them, send them, track them, store them, and even potentially automate post signing actions. So for example, we could, once the envelope has been signed, post a message in Microsoft Teams or on Slack, letting know that the candidate has accepted the offer so that we can kick off other workflows, such as maybe creating their payroll profile inside of QuickBooks or any other software. If you need any help, with setting up your DocuSign templates or your integrations, you can use the link just down below. During the call, we will review your workflow and provide you with the best implementation roadmap or strategy, if you will, for your company's unique needs. I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy pre-filling and happy signing. Ciao.